An unprecedented experiment developed by the researchers was to measure the geodesic curvature between two buildings over a long distance using high precision GPS. So we got two cities, far away. We take two buildings, one in a city in the south and one in a city in the north. This one in the south and this one in the north. What happens if we measure this distance here at the base of the buildings, if the earth is really spherical, when we measure buildings of the same height, when measuring the top, there has to be a difference, because if the earth is spherical, it must have a superior length in the base. To carry out the experiment of the geodesic curvature, two buildings were chosen of the same height and sea level, as far apart from each other as possible. High precision GPS measurements are done at the base and at the top of each building. In order for the results to come out with the best possible precision, the CTZ researchers invited INCRA, the National Institute of Colonization and Agrarian Reform. This is one of the most respected organizations in Brazil and one of the best in the world in the area of topography. INCRA engineers and technicians met with the researchers from the CTZ and Daquila to decide on the realization of the experiment, which would be evidence, or not, of the sphericity of the Earth. Analytically, we will see if really this line here will be perpendicular in relation to this horizontal distance between the two points. There, probably, in relation to the extension of this perpendicular line, to that baseline, I believe it will be larger. What about the geodetic curvature experiment performed on the buildings? Measurements were done of the bases and tops of two buildings, one in Torres, Rio Grande do Sul, and another in Natal, Rio Grande do Norte, 3,050 kilometers apart from each other. According to the theory of the spherical Earth, the distance of the measurements of the bases must be different than the measurements of the top, even in a few meters. But if the measurements are equal, this would show that the Earth has no curvature. Remembering the opinion of the INCRA engineers before the experiment, probably there will be in relation to the extension of this line, perpendicular to the baseline. I believe it will be longer. Thinking of the Earth as a globe, the initial expectation was that the measurements were different. But when the results arrived, the base and the top measurements were the same, showing that the two buildings are leveled upright. And here the opening angle, where we read the point here, the base of the building and its height. As we do this calculation here, on this plane, we will always find this distance here. On this plane, we will always find this distance here. The identical measurements of the distance between the bases and the tops prove that between the two buildings there is no curvature, proving that the Earth has no spherical shape.